Hi everyone, my name is April and in this video I wanted to share some eco-friendly ways to recycle your clothes and scrap fabric. If you have ever worn a white shirt and gotten a stain on it, don't be so quick to throw it away. Instead, think of it as an opportunity to give it a new life by tie-dyeing it. This actually happened to me when I was trying to bleach my white tank top. It turned those spots yellow. So instead of giving the shirt away, I just decided to practice my tie-dyeing skills. And I'm so obsessed with how this shirt turned out because I am a noob at tie-dyeing. So I just looked up some really basic tutorials on YouTube and I love the result because you can't even tell that there were yellow stains right here anymore. To anyone who is throwing away their old clothes, this is what happens to them. We can help reduce the amount of textiles in our landfills by simply donating to local thrift stores. If you're worried about donating small pieces of scraps to thrift stores, cut them into squares and put them into a Ziploc bag. There are so many crafters who could use the small pieces for their art. For example, scrapbooking. My favorite thrift store is Savers and I love donating there because they give back to their local communities and they give everyone who donates a coupon to encourage them to come back and go thrifting. Which brings me to point number three, which is to go thrifting for clothes instead of buying new clothes all the time. Even if the clothes you find are not in style, you can do some thrifted transformations to them to make them more cute and trendy. In fact, I just went thrifting the other day and found this cute floral print dress and these denim pants and I'm going to be doing transformations to both of these. Number four, you can recycle all your unwanted clothes and rags at a local H&M for their comeback clothing campaign. Um, this campaign only goes on until May 31st and they are accepting all kinds of clothes in any condition so this means scrap fabric as well. So to all my sewers out there, Hurry up and bag up those scrap fabric if you don't know what to do with them and go ahead and drop them off at your local H&M and you can also get a 20% off coupon for donating. Number six, you can donate your leftover fabric to local high schools that have sewing classes or art classes. I know that when I was in high school and whenever someone donated fabric, I would be so happy because that meant I got to take home some fabric and practice my sewing. And if you can't find a place to donate to, do some research. There are some companies that will send you prepaid bags to put your unwanted clothing inside. All you have to do is ship it back to them for free. And if you're looking to make a little extra cash, there are secondhand stores like Plato's Closet and ThreadUp that will pay you for your clothes, as long as the clothing meets the requirements and current trends. And if none of these ideas work out for you, you can always make a stuffed animal and stuff it up with all of your scrap fabric. I made this minion last year for Earth Day and was supposed to put up a tutorial on how I made him and everything, but my footage got lost, so I'm so sorry um, to anyone who wanted to see that tutorial. And if you are still interested in seeing a tutorial like this then please let me know down in the comments and I will refilm that for you guys. Those are just some of the ways you can recycle your textiles and keep them out of our landfills. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I apologize for not making videos in a while. I've just been so busy with schoolwork, but I'm happy to be back. So if you have any requests for summer DIYs from me, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will be back with some more thrifty transformations for you guys. But in the meantime, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter to see what I've been up to. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!